Monster Hunter, so you can capture them, yeah. and you can actually get more stuff from them if you capture them. Okay. Uh, but you capture them to bring them back to an arena to fight them to the death. Okay. You can also, we found out, capture them once they're back in the arena, so... Mm. They are, I guess they heal them and then force them to fight to the death fight again. again. So, like, and all this, while that's going on, there's, like, cute cat people, you uh-huh. know, little that help you out. And like, everything's all happy and stuff and bright colors. But you're still, like, slaughtering and I, I there's real, there's no real reason. It's just like to collect things and yeah. like learn about stuff. Collecting things, but but we're we're in the new world and we're gonna <laughs> and they're capturing and slaughtering beasts as you do. As you, but they do. were gonna eat you if they if you didn't, man. You it's a very it. colonizer <laughs> game. Like, they have to get out of here. They're too big. Yeah, the empire needs to keep expanding. So, but uh, it's a it's an awesome game. Yeah, the Pokemon dude that. Uh, Invented that he was like a bug collector. Okay, and he was just like, "How about a game that's like bug collecting?" Isn't Digimon <laughs> the fighting. one where they fight? Yeah, I think they do. I don't know. I didn't really know. I always thought that was a bootleg Pokemon, so I, I really didn't know shit about. I Digimon. don't know much about any of them, but yeah. somebody told me that one they die and one and they they force them to fight. Uh, maybe that's Digimon. I don't know. Pokemon, yeah. they just fall asleep. It looks like <laughs> it's very it's very <laughs> friendly. <laughs> I mean, yeah. not the fights, but the end of it is just like. Dee, dee, doo, ba, dee, dee, doo. You know? <laughs> He's kind of like, hmm. yeah. they faint and go back into the Pokeball. All right. Oh, my God. All right. So in more gaming news, uh, Evo 2020 has been announced. It's yeah. in uh, Las Vegas, July 31st to August 2nd. Um, it's got all, it's like the biggest fighting game tournament in the world. Mm-hmm. Um, and thousands and thousands of entrants to the game. And any it's w- one thing that's different about Evo than, than other types of tournaments is uh, any person can be in it. And anybody can win the big bucks, as opposed to like well, other tournaments, you kind of have to qualify in. Like you, have you to could pay to get in, or qualify like something like Capcom Cup, which is the really big Street Fighter tournament. You have to have enough points from placing well in other tournaments. I gotcha. to even be eligible to be in it. Evo, not so much. Anybody can join, and anybody can play against. The, you can show up and play against the greatest fighting game players that are alive. They probably will beat you. In 10 seconds when you first yeah. walk in. So there's a lot of touristy versions of playing like that. It's like, oh, my God, there goes Daigo Umahara. You know? So the games in it this year are Street Fighter V, Tekken 7, Smash Brothers Ultimate, not Melee, a brand new game. Well, what's the difference between it's Ultimate? Like, it's like two different games. You know, oh, yeah. Smash community are just like, Melee is the real Smash, and Smash Ultimate is the new one. It has okay. a million characters. Very uh, fun. Super fun game. Oh. Uh, a brand new game called Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, which is like very um, anime with swords kind of like people, like uh, medieval swords and magic uh-huh. fighting game. New one. Undernight, which was an indie game, this uh, new indie kind of uh, fighting game. Samurai Showdown, which is the new one they just made, which is awesome. Uh, it was an old 90s game that just got rebooted a year ago, or two years ago, and now it's popular. And we have Soul Calibur VI, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, and the last game is a special Marvel vs. Capcom 2 Tournament of Champions, which is going to be an invite-only tournament from people who have all won EVO at this game. So the, f- oh. the four people who have like won an EVO, uh, Duck, uh, IFC, I've sent... Uh, uh, Sanford Kelly and Justin Wong are all the people that will be there, and they're going to have tournaments throughout the year for people to have the other four slots of an eight-person tournament. So that's a oh. really old game that is going to be like redone and huge. It's going to be so awesome! Wow! <clears throat> so I can't wait to see that on TV. Uh, I would like to go to Evo one day. There's like so much shit out there. They have all kinds of um, like art, you know, of people just making any and everything you think of, like. Um, Video game things mm-hmm. and uh, play people. Oh, this is like a sign up sheet. Oh, or like um, graphic novels, people from other games, uh, voice actors from cartoons will be right. there. You know, very all the same con kind of nerd con stuff that are, are at these. But July 31st to August 2nd, I'm gonna watch it. We should maybe have a party to watch some of this stuff. Yeah. It's fun for me. I watch it on the Sundays and shit. I'd love to see. The old man games, because, like, the dudes that show up to play Samurai... Sh- this is what makes fighting games slightly different than other games. All right. The dudes that are showing up to a Samurai Showdown comp, uh, tournament are, like, in their 30s. Right. That's different. Right. Like, you know, the people playing 
Fortnite, one hundred million dollars at Fortnite. Those are like little kids. No, people very play, young. People playing Marvel versus Capcom two are damn near forty. Yeah, you know, well, <laughs> so, it's an old game. It's an old game. It's an old man's game. So that's very fun. Uh, so that's coming up. Um, what else do we want to talk about? You had you had another thing. Um, you had bones. You did Evo. Black history. <laughs> I have a piece of I have a piece of uh, junk food for. Oh know, yeah, the yeah. Two. Hit up the junk food. Junk thing. food time. Okay. All right. So, uh, what's we got? Oh, hey. Sports card track music. <coughs> mm. All right. <laughs> junk food. I have a junk food thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. So the junk food thing of this episode is going to be. The train. <coughs> oh, oh, oh my god! Damn, almost died. Boy. Almost died. Come on now. Come on, boy. Come on now. What's going on now? The train wreck burrito at the Deep Run Roadhouse, which is also Alamo. Um, it is it, also Alamo. It's Alamo. I did it's, not know that. It's like the Alamo stuff. So the train wreck burrito is your choice of barbecue served in a bowl if you want, but I have it in a burrito. It's like your. Uh, protein, mac and cheese, cowboy beans, which is like uh, baked beans, mm-hmm. and cornbread, onions and jalapeno, and cheese, all in a burrito. Woo! Cornbread in the burrito. In it. All in little tiny chunks. Oh. It's so good. You definitely shouldn't eat this more than once every six months or something like that. But, wow. Junk Sounds food great. item of the week is yeah. the train oh. wreck burrito. It sounds awesome, man. I got it with fried fish. I replaced the barbecue with fried fish. It was oh, yeah? so good. Oh, yeah. So good. Anyway. It sounds delicious. It, it was pretty delicious. You didn't need, it hardly needed anything. Maybe some hot sauce because it had a little bit of barbecue sauce in it from the like pork and beans. So it was it's nine bucks, which is seems like not that much for all of the food that you get. Uh-uh. You find... Uh, Pinto beans with brisket. That's what the cowboy beans are. And they and they're also sweet. Oh, wow. Like yeah, they have some I sort of like molasses sweet kind of baked thing. Beans. Yeah, going sweet in. Sweet baked beans are so good. Yeah. Uh, mm. And they have jalapeno mac and cheese. Anyway. Uh you said you went to Whole Foods. Oh, this I week. went to Whole Foods and was disgusted <laughs> by uh, the new Whole Foods. I was disgusted by uh, man, all right. Yeah, so salad bars. I'm not, in I'm, general. I'm not here. Yeah, in general, but you'd think Whole Foods would be better since everything there costs like $3 more than everywhere you, else. You know what? You, you just said the word salad bar at a grocery store, and I already got mad, and I don't even know what you're about to say. Yeah, you don't even know what I'm about to say. <laughs> I'm already mad. I think uh, children should not be allowed within 20 feet <laughs> How did of I know salad you were going to say that? <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I... I their arms and hands are just roaming everywhere uh, and re- reaching up into stuff. In just <laughs> reaching into stuff, into stuff, fucking grabbing the spoons and like playing with the food. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Get away from that! Like I, I looked right in the eyes of these parents, like <laughs> like like with a mean look, like menacing. What them. the fuck is wrong with you? Like what is wrong with you? <laughs> and like. The kids I'm about to put this kid. Uh, yes. Like, I, I had to stop myself from going, what the fuck are you doing? Like, and hitting a kid's hand and yelling at them. Especially at, a, at you know, as far as salad bars and hot bars are concerned, you know, Whole Foods, you kind of want that to be the classiest and best of all I of go all to, of us. I go you know? to Whole Foods because I don't want to deal with the rubby dubs. You don't want to do that. You don't want to <laughs> see people like strollers, <laughs> I do. you know, flicking not green even beans that. into the salad. Oh, no, not even that. That's The, the ones in strollers are, are usually uh, strapped in. Can't get out. Yeah, they can't get out. It's the ones that are mobile yeah. and uh, can talk, too, because then now they have some sort of rights or something like that. Yeah, like, kids have, gra- apparently have rights. They have rights. That's the, what I heard. The, yeah, well, they have rights, but they, you, they don't deserve those rights. They do not deserve the rights. No, kids do not have rights. No, no, they kind of don't. <laughs> nah, they pretty much don't. They're like, yeah, they're a couple, couple steps away from like straight up possessions. We can't, we can't keep you from putting your hands inside the beans. Yeah, at Whole Foods, you yeah. don't get any rights. Yeah, I mean, and I don't want to make uh, salad bars look like the bank where you have to, like, go up and slide open a door yeah. and <laughs> use a special tong. Like, uh-huh. they, you know, I don't want it to get to that because it would take forever to get through a salad bar. Yeah. Uh, 
Keep your children away from the salad bar. Yeah. And you know what? I don't have kids, and I'm totally going to tell you how you should take care of your kids because it's affecting my life. Mm -hmm. It's affecting everybody else because kids are the biggest carriers of germs (laughs) there are. They are germ magnets, and then they put their fucking hands all over this food. And, like, cough guards don't matter. They're below the cough guard. Like, and, oh yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, and I'm wondering, and their hands are already covered in slime, no matter what. They have literal shit on their hands <laughs> at all times, dude. They are fucking kids. They're shit fingers. <laughs> shit and piss is on their fingers constantly. And if you're a parent, you, you know exactly the, what I'm talking about. You got them all in the salad bar. And and what do kids do? They crawl around on the floor with their hands. Oh, they do. Yeah, it's like taking shoes and putting it on the. So Whole Foods, first of all, I thought you you would do me better since I'm paying all this extra money. I might as well go to Lombardi Kroger if I want germs yeah. in my shit. But I, I need better. I feel like there should be something, the equivalent of like a baby gate that goes around salad bars. No, people are going to put their kids right next to them. put their so kids one, inside of it. Yeah. So what I'm thinking maybe. Like a little shelf though. Like if, well, the, if like the shelf – you know, like imagine raising where you, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, like imagine like a, like a cafeteria in which you have to put your tray on something before uh-huh. you can reach into it. You know. Yeah. If that came out far there, you know, Possibly. like, if, like a, make like a little I'm shelf, thinking, they couldn't reach over it into any food. I think you know the what I'm whole saying? salad bar should be raised to four and a half. Feet. <laughs> Just raise all salad bars. Yeah, like a four and a half feet high, so that should it would come up to like most people's chest. That would be too high. We got, you could have steps for short people. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry because to, because the children you, you ruined wouldn't let it. keys on this. You wouldn't let kids on the steps, right? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, an adult can. Yeah, you can't. Or, or I'm just saying, like, I don't think there's enough discrimination for children. And if if <laughs> and if shaming parents for having the kids with them, if 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 parents can't have certain things, so be it. Like maybe they have to wait longer or something like that. Maybe they have to. Maybe they have to pay a little extra and get a, a actual human being to fucking go, not a child, to go over there and get it for them. Like you know, yeah. If you have to, if you have your kids at the grocery store, they definitely should. I understand be... you don't have child like a child care for the kids, but like, because I remember it being as a, being in the kid as a kid in the grocery store, and your mom be like, "Oh my, you better not do this. You better not do that." Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't imagine doing all that. Yeah, shit. if I did any of this shit, oh, yeah, they would. Oh God. I want. I wonder if you, it's like yeah, the parents they have to they have to get banned. You like you banned from the salad bar for two days because you let your kid go over there. <laughs> I, 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 a week. Yeah, they'd be like, oh, what? I told that motherfucker, and then like you bet you take it more serious next yeah. time you come in here. I bet the kid would be nowhere near the salad bar you know? or whatever it is. Or if you violate it, you don't. Your Whole Foods card doesn't give you a discount anymore for that that purchase or something like Whole that. Whole Foods also is, is a place that. Probably would benefit from some sort of a uh, like little slide area for kids. You like, know, they're well, so big. The other they thing. need like a kids area. Well, that's what you I'm thinking. What I mean? uh, now, if they provided because the shit there is so fucking expensive, right? Why don't they give the customers a childcare area? But I think it's probably because they don't want to be responsible. So I'm sure that's true. But even if there was like somewhere where mom or dad could or whoever could just sit in this place with the kid while it ran, like they ran around. Yeah. Like some sort of like Burger King, you know, ball pit kind of situation, yeah. you know? Yeah. Anyway, we're just, you know, we're just trying to help. Just trying to help. Trying to make the business Trying better. to help make my experience better. <laughs> <clears throat> and talking about uh, crazy food, um, me and you talk about eating all the time and trying to control our food addictions. Uh, and I w- was looking up different workouts and stuff online, and I stumbled across all kinds of crazy muscle muscle head dudes. This uh-huh. dude's name is Cali yeah, Muscle. This guy looks insane. And it's like muscles on top of muscles on top of muscles on top of muscles on top of muscles. And, and this is real muscles. Yeah. This isn't like that saline uh, injection no. stuff. It's just like crazy. I was like, this kind of looks like some sort of version of OCD, really, of like you work out so much that every – moment of your day is evolved around your body well that's a, <laughs> every it, have piece you ever, of food you know have you ever uh seen like the daily itinerary for mark Wahlberg? i was like one when he was prepping for a movie oh the movie and, workouts no. yeah and like his his schedule and stuff it's it, you know it's insane it literally is insane but it's a it's obsessive 
But I can see how if that's what you do, that's what you're into, that's your thing, to go ahead and do.